The last thing we'll look at in this section deals with a function like this. As you can see, I've given you the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 1. We've studied this before. It's a quadratic, so therefore it's the shape of a parabola. And we do have a vertical shift down 1. Now, as you can see, this function right here actually does not have an inverse. And the reason we know it does not have an inverse is because it is not a one-to-one -one function. But what they can do with functions like this is they can actually restrict the domain. So what they can do is they'll come up here and say, for those x's that are greater than or equal to 0. So now what has happened is they've taken our original function and they have limited the x values to those. Now, because they've limited the x values, now this function actually has an inverse. And we can find that inverse, of course, by switching the x and y's. So the order pair 0, comma, negative 1 will now be at negative 1, comma, 0. This order pair is 1, comma, 0, so it'll be at 0, comma, 1. And you come up here and you have 2, comma, 3, so 3, comma, 2. So we can graph our inverse function uh, if we limit the domain of an actual function. And again, inverse functions have to be reflexed about this line. y is equal to f 